Hello, everyone, and welcome once more. I don't know why I've been in my voice for that. Hello, <laughs> hello, and this is another this is another hell for an hour, and we are doing another Switch game. This is Raystorm X Ray Ray Crisis HD Collection. This is two games in one, so I don't know how I'm going to split this up in the hell, or I'll figure it out. Maybe we'll just play overplay. That's usually what I do. This is interesting. Anti Creates uh, and Taito are bringing together a collection of these two games. They are apparently, according to the description, two of the most respective vertical shoot-em-ups Taito's ever released, coming to the West for a special HD collection. These are successors to the game uh, Rayforce, um, and apparently uh, they feature polygon-based 3D graphics, and thus these HD versions also do a lot to clean it up. Because, like, you know, HD versions for sprite case games, okay. HD versions for old 3D games, more interesting. That's very interesting to me. They've cleaned up the 3D graphics, made them a lot more crisp and stuff. That that makes a big difference, especially for something with a visual spectacle focus, like a shoot 'em up So I'm kind of eager to play these. I've never heard of these games before now. And I'm now very curious about, the, apparently, this uh, trifecta of a series, which we have the later two entries for here. So let's hop in and see what we got. Um, of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but we need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's a lurk or the top, think do, think about doing so. Because it does make a big difference, and we honestly would love to have you. It makes it really is nice to have new people around and talk to. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I got a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content, and I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool merch. In addition, the Weight Gain Drive website, which was for the drive we did earlier this year, has gotten a new update. Bonus image 2 of 4 has been added. You can go check it out on the site as well as read the story. All links for everything are in the description, so you can check it out if you feel like it. Now, let's see what we got here. Because, yeah, I so Raystorm released in 1996, the second of the Ray Arcade series, vertical shooter using 3D graphics for the first time in the series. So, yeah, the first game did not, was apparently sprite-based. Uh, utilizing the 3D game circuit board Taito FX1B. If anybody is an arcade aficionado, maybe that means something to you. It doesn't mean a whole lot to me, even though I do appreciate arcade games. Uh, featuring impressive cutscenes that make the most of 3D graphics, including daring enemy transformation, dynamic in-game camera angles. A number of features have been added. So this is a powerful hyper laser and a special attack that can also be used for emergency evasions. Sounds kind of like typical shoot 'em up gameplay to me, but I, I, there's nothing wrong with typical shoot 'em up gameplay. <laughs> okay, so Ray Crisis came two years later, released in 1998, third and final in the Ray Arcade series, utilizing the GNet system. This vertical shooter could save player data and updated in-game content with each play. You know, for 1998, that's kind of um, interesting, actually. Save player, like individual player data, or, like on a card. You know, there were actually a number of Japanese arcade machines back in the day. I never saw this in the West. But there was always these arcade games that popped up here and there in Japan where you could actually save your data to, like, a card you entered in the, into the machine. And then, like, it saved your data. And then when you played it again later, another day, you could, like, up, you know, return to your save data, basically. And, like, it's, it's kind of cool, actually. I wonder if Ray Crisis did that. Uh, largest game in the series with 42 maps with three different endings. 42 maps. Is that like 42 stages or stage sections? That's pretty diverse, especially for a 3D game in 1998. Hmm. Alright, let's start with Raystorm, obviously. Card always makes me think of the original Pokemon Snap. Oh my gosh. Not to mention, do you guys remember the blockbuster Pokemon Snap cards? I... That you could, you could take... You could, like... You could, like, print out your photos from your N64 game using the card at the machines at Blockbuster. That's <laughs> sure, Avenger one. I did too. <laughs> Let's do Raystorm though. What do we got here? So we got Okay, so we got the original. We have and then we have the HD version. Here's here's what I'm gonna do, guys. We're gonna start by going just into the original so you guys can see what the graphics originally look like. I'm not gonna really play it, I'm just gonna pop into the first stage. We can look at the graphics and then we're gonna go to the HD version and compare. Since a lot of us probably haven't seen this game, so let's compare the versions. So the original. This is the so we had an, so this is a 1996 3D arcade game. So clearly, a bit chunky. It looks like a PS1 game. Looks good. I like how it looks. Let's 
Definitely cool looking. We're, now we're gonna compare the HD though, so we'll just watch this intro cutscene. And then we'll compare them to the HD version. Man, that is so that is so 90s. I love it. Okay, so what if I now okay, so hitting oh, I can quick save. So they give me quick saves for that. So that's very nice of them. I will try to avoid using that though. So I want to go back to the start. So let's look at the now let's watch the intro again, but this time let's go to the HD. Neo HD rather. All right, let's see how the HD compares. Actually, before we begin, though, let me see something. Options. What do we have for options? Ah. Well, we could set the difficulty level of individual stages. That's very interesting. I'm going to leave everything alone for now, but if it feels too difficult... Okay, good to use our allowed free play. Wow, well, this is nice. It's okay, this is a good collection. Because they could have just, like, thrown these arcade games up there with a little HD code and that's it. But I like the fact that they actually let me tailor a lot here with the actual cabinet. Such as at enabling free play mode, so I just don't have to worry about, like, even virtual credits. Setting the number of lives I start the game with, the difficulty of each individual stage. That's really cool. I like to see that. Um, obviously, we do screen type, display type, fine. Scales so the game manager by a fixed integer, fit the screen scales. Okay, fixed integer is best. And then we have backgrounds. We, we put on the screen. How many, how many do we have? Three. Screen boundary effects. Oh, screen battery effects. I, I think I know what they mean with that. Do they mean... Oh, yeah, the little the blur. I can turn off the blur? Is that what they mean? Yeah, I can just turn off the... That's really nice of them. They, they actually gave a lot of little functions. I appreciate that. Because, yeah, that blur would bother me. It's a very small detail, but... Oh, okay, yeah, that looks way better. So yeah, they just... Honestly, it just kind of looks like they applied an emulation filter, but it still looks really good. Oh, uh, well, there... I see some tearing, though. I see some, like... Yeah, this is probably just basically an emulation filter of sorts. Because I see a bit of uh, tearing to the graphics here there. It's not nothing too major, but... I don't believe it was doing that in a non-HD, so... Textures look to be the same. It's really just the uh, models are upscaled. Okay, the tile screen was also upscaled a little bit. All right, I feel pretty good about this. Let me go through the rest of the options, though. Gadgets. Huh. Music info. That's kind of interesting. And sound. Oh, I can do original or... Oh, I can... oh, there's an arrangement album I can turn on. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll leave it original for now. All right, I'm, I'm liking the amount of options they give you, though. And quick saves if you need them. You know, that's good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and start up, shall we? So, pre wait, actually, hold on. A Is there anything crazy about this shoot-em-up, or can I figure it out? Okay, there's kind of a lock on. Got it. Special attack. Got it. Defeating enemies by lock on the energy of the special attack can be re- Okay, so lock on to increase your energy. Gotcha. Okay. Seems like I can do that. How do I start? How do I insert coins? What is insert coins? There it is. One or two player button. Uh, one? I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I did it right. Uh, D grade two. 60 place lock on. A place. Well, it has a lot less. So I assume it's going to be faster. That's just my assumption. All right, what we got here? Manual or auto? Uh, special attack button by doing both buttons at once. Shot laser. Okay, I'd like to do that. I do like the auto. Okay. Is the volume good for you guys? August 14, 2219. Okay, that's special attack. Found, found that button. <laughs> how do I charge? Oh, I see how I charge. Okay, it's kind of. You, uh, by not shooting, that's how you charge. That actually is a good mechanic. A lot of shoot em ups, you just gotta keep firing. This one encourages you to stop. 
It's good to actually have a mechanic that encourages the player to stop shooting and to shoot him up. Because that requires a bit of extra strategy. A bit low? Okay. Ah, I see. I lock into whatever I cursor over. Fair enough. Yeah, I definitely like this lock on mechanic. It's very easy to use. I wonder what the limit is. Ooh. Tell you what, I'm gonna turn it up a bit. You guys say it's a bit quiet. This option's right here, so why not? Oh, what? Arcade background noise? I use our authentic background noise experience the game as if you were playing for Tokyo's Akibahara Hake Arcade. Wow! They really thought of little things to add into this, didn't they? That's kind of crazy, actually. Alright, let's continue. Hopefully that's not too loud now. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. Oh. Oh god, okay. Lasers. Oh god, okay. Destructible bullets, not too big a deal, not too big a deal. Those are destructible. So we're fighting a fucking tank. Hover tank? I don't like that laser. That laser, I'm not sure what the hitbox of it is. There, I took out the laser. That's better. Can I use the special again? I forgot. Oh shit, there's still a laser on that side. Did not consider that. I blew that one up. I think I think the lasers are done. Yeah, it's well what's it doing? It's being upset it doesn't have lasers. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's a lot of missiles. I appreciate that the attack is quite uh violent, but they're destructible bullets and must missiles. I appreciate that. August 5th. I'm glad I know it's August 5th, otherwise I couldn't play this game. See, if it was August 6th, this would be a big difference for, like, the level. <laughs> oh god, that thing charged right at me, alright. Okay, okay, the red bolts can't be destroyed, gotcha. Ooh, there's subs up. Oh, interesting. My lock on can hit things where I can't normally hit things, too. Like these subs, I can't shoot them, but I can lock on. Oh, God. Interesting. So, lock on is actually the only way to hit something sometimes. I think I was seeing that with a laser earlier, too, actually. Interesting. So, I need to stop shooting to hit certain things. That's really interesting. I like that. This isn't just about score or whatever, it is actually about what you can attack. Such as these tanks, actually. I think they can't shoot them, either. Oops. Yeah, I think I can't literally shoot these ground units without locking onto them. That's actually a really interesting system. I like that. So airborne enemies, I can just shoot them. Everything else kind of needs lock-on. Like, these things need lock-on. So I, I'm, I'm thinking the best way to attack is probably uh, tap fire, tap on and off fire. Yeah, that seems to be a good way to put it. Ah, oh, dang, did he dodge that attack? <laughs> I tried to use my special on him, but I think he got away from it.
Yeah, so burst fire, it seems to be the best strategy here. Yeah, he's the next boss, I had a feeling. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Ooh, oh god. Okay, I see. Ho the homing bolts. Gotcha. Ooh, the mines could be destroyed in Pokemon on only. Okay. Where's it going? Oh god. Fuck. I'm like flying right into the attacks. How unlucky. I like the boss theme, it's, it's fun. Is that good? I think that's good. Ooh. Yeah, the homing, the homing missiles, you have to be careful. You don't want to be too close when they're doing that. Also, I think they gave me like a super power up. That's nice of it. Uh, I see. Oof. Good old fashioned shotgun blast of uh, undestroyable bullets is, is a good way to take me out. Ooh. Damn. It only has one attack now, but it's a very annoying attack. Oh my goodness. It is, it is, those are always one of the harder attacks to dodge, in my opinion. Just shotgun blast, shotgun blast. <laughs> I would say I play well. This is a, listen. I never played well in a shoot 'em up until I played it once, probably. I play okay at shoot 'em ups before I play them at all. But yeah, you kind of need to learn the shoot 'em up to play it well. That's just kind of the rule of it. Palmera Valley. I really like that jazzy beginning of the song. L love the piano. Actually, in, in general, the soundtrack is kind of weirdly, uh, plumpish. Oh. Oh. That guy aims at me, so if I keep moving, he can't take me out. I see. I think it threads what's in the background. <laughs> yeah, ground targets are really dangerous because if they pass by me at a certain point, they're, they're still dangerous to me, but I can't dodge them, you know? Oh. Those, those guys were little evasive little jerks, weren't they? Oh, that's so interesting. The bullets don't hit me until they're uh, fully lit up. Because they're they're surface they're like rising up to attack me, so the bolts themselves are. Oh god. Okay. You have to really lay into those mechs to kill them before they get away. Oh god. Okay. Ooh, those leave lasting. Oh god. Oh 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 my. Okay, that's a fair attack. The trails don't hurt you. Only the front of them. Okay. Doing. That looks like a laser beam. Oh, that's a laser beam, all right. Okay. Oh, damn! I was too busy trying to attack. I wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. Damn, now I know how to dodge that. These are the yellow shots are homing, I've noticed. There's different colors for different types of attacks. What's he doing? Let's just attack. Oh, okay, that shoots the grenades, gotcha. Oh god, they home, they home, I didn't know that. Oh, oh god, ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm not playing amazingly, but I did okay.
August 5th, 229. <laughs> I, I really like the timestamps. Like, I don't know why they're there. Why not? Third Fleet, Earth Orbit. Okay. I like how I can, it looks like I can target even like the background ships, even though I can't really do much to them or they can't really do much to me. Nonetheless, I can still target them though, which is kind of interesting. Oof. I do like how there's color coding to the attacks though. Red bullets are just get the fuck out of the way, you can't destroy them, basically. Oh, I dodge my own, I dodge a power up. Yeah, blue attacks are just really fast, also undestroyable. Yellow home, if they're beams. Uh, if it's any sort of 3D projectile, you can destroy it. Oh god. Ooh. It's actually a lot of bullets on screen at any one moment in this stage. Ah, oh, dang. There it is. Just gonna give myself a million credits, hold on. There we go. I think I blew that one up, cool. I think, it's hard to tell. Yeah, these these big ships, you theoretically can destroy them, but they go by very- Wah! Red bullet out of nowhere! <laughs> The giant, the giant fuck off missiles aren't such a big deal, but the red bullets, that's what gets me. And see, the thing is, the giant fuck off missiles, you can kind of see them. They're easier to notice. Man, I love shooting them up, especially the arcade ones, just such a great spectacle, you know? Just trying to take out whatever there is on the ship before it can hurt me. This. Oh, oh, blue, oh, blue, 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 Okay, we're fine. Whoa! Oh, damn. I almost dodged that. This is like a pretty good shoot em up overall. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that distant ship I can lock onto! Like, I killed it! <laughs> I killed that distant ship! Why can I even target that? It's not even fighting me! It's not in the battle! I love that I can just target that ship! Why can't I do that? I don't even know. I like that I can, though. Oh god. Okay, hold on, hold on. Whoa. Rude. Look, look at that one over there. <laughs> Take that, little tight, <laughs> little faraway ship. I'm just gonna target the faraway ships at this point. Fuck you! <laughs> you weren't involved in this battle, but I hate you anyways. Oh, what are these weird attacks? <laughs> I love that I could just kill them! This is, this is, they're just these giant flank ships, some random late. Can you imagine you're just like a battleship in space? You fly by, you're just moseying on, you're not currently in a battle with anybody. Then just suddenly two homie lasers hit you, you're dead. Your ship blows up, you're like, what the fuck was that shit? <laughs> Fucking hacks. That's a planet. That's in 3D. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, was that the whole level? There was no boss. Huh. I guess that ship at the end was kind of a boss, though. Oh, Celica orbit, I see. Yep, can't be a shoot em up with. Can't be a space shooter about some sort of asteroid level, right? Which are either. I find them to be either the most easy levels or the most difficult levels, all dependent on. Whether or not it's all about dodging the asteroids, or if there's some bullshit mixed in. <laughs> this seems to be a- there is some bullshit mixed in sort of level, so... Oh god.
Oh no, a bomb got me. I was trying to kill that one ship. Holy shit, I blew it in half. That's great. Ooh, that's a lot of bolts from everything. Yeah, what's funny is the lock-on, the way it Oh my god, that dodge I did. The way the lock-on works, you have to, um... Oh, oh god, that was, that's a lot of bolts. The way the lock-on works, if I need to tar target a ground target, I gotta get a certain distance from it. Which can be very dangerous. So, like, I have to approach the turrets to get, in get them locked on, basically. Oh god. Okay, 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 ooh, alright. They just shoot in any direction they want. Okay, gotcha. Okay, this could get this could get very quickly out of hand, these things. Whoa, whoa, ah fuck. There's nothing quite as bad as attack that's utterly random. Ah, damn, I got kamikaze Okay, note, blue ships don't just shoot bolts, they also try to run into me. Gotcha. Oh god, okay. I just kind of swept the screen at the wrong time for me. Okay, okay. Please stop firing at me, thank you. Oh, okay, hello. Those look like lasers, okay. Ooh, that came very- oh my god, how did I dodge all that? I got cornered by the laser while getting shot at by multiple bolts, and somehow I managed to dodge it all. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, the only reason I died there is because I reached the edge of the screen sooner than I expected. The edge of the screen is sometimes a weird hitbox. Oh, shoot. Those Okay, I'm learning that the blue laser beams, they suck. They tend to come fast and quick. Oh, bugger. I mean, just decimated by this boss. Oh my god. The sparkly homing lights are very unpredictable, too, the way they move. Oh, I ran into the boss! What a fucking room! I tried, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit! Those were fast lasers! I thought he would charge us up a bit more. Oh, God. Nope, nope. Not this time. My goodness, he's durable. I, I, I thought I could break one of his uh, lasers to maybe make his attacks a little have little spikes. I think I did maybe break one. He only shot one laser that time. I don't know. There, now once. My goodness, he's durable. So we've reached. So by the way, remember this is originally an arcade game. Clearly, this stage is where we've reached the point in the game. We've clearly reached the point in the game where the game takes up, bears its fangs and waste and takes your quarters. A lot of shit are that way, where like the first two or three stages are not really that bad, but then it just gets really hard. It's like, uh, okay, you've played far enough, we're gonna take your quarters now, basically. <laughs> oh damn. Couldn't really get out of the way of that. What is this music? It's actually pretty cool, but, like, also very ominous. Wait, is that guy in the back still shooting me? Oh god. 
Oh no, I got strolled over! God damn. Rude. Oh, oh, oh no! The oh my god, there are so many kamikaze attacks going on! So many things are trying to run into me now. Those guys almost dead, jeez. Damn, we took each other out. I really do like the combat system. It's pretty simple, how you, the controls, I mean. They're good, though. What are the hovering things? I'm taking them out first. Oh, oh no. Oh god. It's that shotgun blast I mentioned I hate. Oh god, okay. I think I was a oh, I took out one. Okay, good. Oh, oh, I'm g oh my god, how did I dodge that? Okay, then they have their own little attack mode. How did I get hit by that? I was oh, that was such an easy to dodge attack, too. I took out your options. Now what, buddy? <laughs> God, that those shotgun blasts are just hard to dodge. Oh, he switched to ship mode. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the attacks come fast and hard. Oh my goodness. Feels like blind luck sometimes dodging this enemy. Ha! Ah, no more gun for you, sir! He's like, fine, I have blue lasers and you hate those. What's he doing? He did some weird charge, but didn't actually shoot anything. Damn it, I thought I took out his gun that actually did the attack I- Oh! Handle those sweeps better. Let me guess, yellow? Yes! Ah! You know what's really tricky about the yellow? When it, when it gets fired, it's in the background, and then it loops to the foreground, but it, where it's in the background and where it's in the foreground is in a different spot. Uh, that is to say, basically, if you try to position yourself where you see them in the foreground, they hit you in the back. In the background, they hit you in the foreground. It kind of tricks your brain. Man, th yeah, those red bullets are something else. What is this song? Feels like a song you'd hear if- oh, I got- I ran into it, I think. Feels like the sort of song you'd hear if you were, like, fighting some sort of, like, biomutant abomination or something. Whoa, that thing fell apart, alright. Alright, Zuby. Shibabo's teaser are highlighted rated. Agree, there's a lot of great soundtracks out there. This one's more experimental, I noticed. Oh, well, I'm in the Judo Central System, guys. I don't know what that means, but man, I got into the central system. This is important. <laughs> oh, that dodge was uh, precise. Alright, okay, goodbye. So nice the turrets not to shoot me, even though they were turning to face me at all. wanted to blow up whatever was below me. <laughs> that worked out. This is an interesting- Oh, guys, I love this camera angle. We're going- We're, like, doing an overhead view, so now I have to rely on my lock-on almost exclusively. I like this. This is clever. It also makes for a really dizzying angle to get attacked from, too. What I basically learned is that if, if there's an airship attacking you, you can kind of generally ignore them. Because they will end up going in front of your file while you're locking onto other things. I mean, you still have to pay attention to their attacks, but... Oh, that one little asshole bullet that one enemy shot. Rude. Oh, well, not these again. God, those things just suck. They just shoot 
lasers anywhere they want. Woo! Lasers for everyone! Damn it, and I can't quite kill them fast enough to get them to stop. <laughs> oh, leg. Like, they will get some shots off, so... Anything? Alright. Oh god, okay, there we go. I, I really appreciate that most locked on enemies can die in one hit. So if you can get that successful lock on, you will win. Which I appreciate. It's fair, because, like, it's kind of hard to lock onto things. It does require the right aim. So it's nice of them to do that. Oh god, shut the fuck off, laser. The fuck off missile got me, finally. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Interesting. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck! Get out of here! Don't like your shit. Damn! It's always like one of the last bolts to get to me, too. Like, I dodge almost all of them, but then. Nope. This, this shouldn't be a big deal as long as I keep moving. Okay. Ah, kamikaze! You know, I, you know why I like shoot 'em ups though. They're hard, but as long as they're arcade style, even if they're difficult, you could keep making progress in them if you do quarter punch. Like, in most cases, like, there's quite a few arcade games where you could pu 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 plug in a bunch of quarters and still not make progress, but a shoot 'em up you will always make some progress. Uh, generally. Because it's it's always a forward momentum game, you know? And you can always just enjoy the spectacle, even if you're not playing very well. Damn, I should have moved. I don't know why I didn't. So this is like the core, then. Ooh. Oh, it has more. Oh shit, it has turrets! <laughs> God, okay. Oh, interesting, the only the turret further away from me shoots me. Oh, that's actually really fair. The closer turret won't shoot at me, because that would be an unfairly dangerous attack. Because it's, it's like really fast, so if, if the turret close to you shot, then it would be hard to dodge. So it's like, oh, we'll just make the further away one shoot. See? That's surprisingly generous, actually. They didn't have to do that. Okay. Oh, that's that's too many blue lasers, man! It's like different types, too. And what am I shooting? Ah, the core. That would make sense. Damn it. This is just laser hell at this point. And they all, like, both non-homing and homing lasers. What a mean mix. They're all the same color, so it's hard to tell which ones are coming at me. I mean, they're different sizes. The, the big ones are homing, the small ones aren't. But it's still a little mean. Okay, let's just get through this as quickly as- Ah, oh, God! You do get a special attack every single time you die, which I very much appreciate. This is a pretty fair game, actually. Bye, Core. See you later. Or not, because you fell down and blew up. <laughs> I am following it, though, so... Oh, hello. Fuck's this? Final boss? Oh, I thought I had a special attack. I did not quite have a special attack. 
Yeah, so lock-on equals more special attacks, by the way. Damn. Oh. I seem to have done something to it. I woke it up. Ah yes, the ultimate weapon, a starfish. Is that what this is? Oh god, giant lasers. Rotating lasers. Ah! The lights, the lightsabers, the double lightsabers. I can't handle this. The fuck is this attack? Alright. Oh, and giant... Ooh, this song is really epic, actually. Holy shit. Holy shit, that- I'm doing decent at dodging. It's okay to pat myself on the back for a second. So these lightsabers come flying at me wherever I'm at. Gotcha. After setting up for a second. The laser attack is weird, but very dodgeable if you circle. Ah, dang, I thought I could slip underneath that. Oh, is oh, it closing up on me? Okay. Doing. Gonna destroy the arms first. You always start with the arms, guys. Ow. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, they're mixing up bolts. They're mixing up bolt types. This song is so fucking epic. I like. This is not what I expect for a shoot 'em up. This like slow. Oh, I just I just crashed into him. I got an achievement for it, though. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take it. Okay, I think I destroyed all the, uh... Whatever those did. I don't know what they did, actually. I'm not really sure. Oh, damn. That was a hard thing to thread. I do have kind of a chonky ship, if you guys notice. Like, it does it does take some room on the screen. Oh, God! Oh, I didn't even know it was charging a laser! That was a very subtle laser, giant laser charge. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <coughs> it, like, stealth... It's stealth a laser attack. I didn't even see it coming. Dang, dang, those blue beams, the the blue five shot is really dangerous if you're too close to it. it there it is. Yeah, that charge is kind of hard to notice. Oh, it, <laughs> it followed me! Rude as shit, but also I, I find that hilarious. There. I, I was like, it's fine, I'm over here, and it just curved. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Rude, but I should have seen it coming. Stage 8, shoot a central system. They have the second control by as effective as this in a deeper part of the central system. What actually exists in the center of the system is unknown. Only the codename Yggdrasil has been confirmed. Oh, there's a particular HUD type that gives you more information like about the stages and stuff. I, which I didn't have on until just now. I think it defaultedly switched it or something. Or was it always... Wait, was there always information on screen? Was I just too busy to see it? Hold on. If so, that's cool. A little bit of extra stage detail. I like that. Oh, cool. Well, there you go. You could you could find out what each stage is by just reading the side hub. Very nice. I appreciate that. Oh, 
Ah, yep, there's information. Hold on a second, I'm gonna see what the information value stage is. I like that, I like when a side hat does something like that, like gives you information. So stage one was when the Earth, okay, Earth, the, when the Earth transitioned to a federal system, government agents were established in various district unions around the world. The Albion District is where various research institutes, mainly scientific and technological, were established. This is presumed to be the reason why the city was not bombarded from orbit by the Selica fleet. Uh, Seclia fleet. I guess the Seclia are the bad guys in this. Cool. What about stage two? Old Gaul City, Earth. The capital of Gaul, Europe. Uh, it was established through the before, former French and Belgian borders during the Transition to federalism. The city was bombarded from orbit just after Sicilian... I'm just going to call them Sicilians. Reached Earth's orbit. <laughs> Connected to Reckon server. That's cool. You can read all that little information on the side. I was too busy not trying to, trying not to die, so I didn't really do so, but... Uh, yeah. That was an enjoyable little leisurely romp. I wonder if there's a... Wait, it says stage five. Wait, what stage was I on at the end? Hold on, actually, I need to research something. The last stage was... Stage eight. Okay, then it was stage eight. Okay. I just want to make sure there's no, like, secret stage I could have gotten by doing something. Sometimes shoot them up actually locked the last stages behind, like, playing on the hardest difficulty. Granted, with arcade games, that's usually less the case, but... Man, that was fun. I had a good time with that. Um, to th think about shoot 'em is they're not very long, typically. Yeah, five stages. Uh, there are eight stages, okay. They're not typically that long. So, the fun of shoot 'em ups is not just playing through them. Though, honestly, I think they're fun for that casual usage. Just dump a bunch of credits into an arcade, shoot 'em up, just have a nice leisurely time enjoying the game. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to be a hardcore shoot 'em up player to enjoy a shoot 'em up, right? I'm kind of in the middle. I, I'm decent at shoot 'em ups, but uh, it also depends on which one I'm playing and what kind of gameplay it has. Anyways, that was Ray Storm. Let's go play Ray Crisis now. Largest game in the series, apparently. HD, let's do it. Is it possible to stop the con human crimes organization? Hold on. Con human, you mean a con artist? <laughs> con human. Okay, I want I want the background type that shows me information because that was actually kind of useful. I like that. Is that one? Is that one? I assume they have one for this. Maybe not. Type three, type two, maybe. Okay, I'm not seeing information on any of these, but. Maybe it pops up once you're in game. I think I was on. What was I on last time? Type two. Can't remember. I imagine once I get in the game, it starts showing that information. Battery effects off. Display type fine. Okay. Looks like there are. Okay, just a general difficulty level this time. Okay. And once again, an arranged soundtrack is available. We haven't heard those, but... It's nice that they're there. Okay, let's go. So is this is about con humans? Wave Rider. Yeah? Wave Rider? Cybernetics Link. Oh, Cybernetics Link. <laughs> Ooh. Cloning. cloning! Guys, all these crazy things are going on. Out of control cloning! That's the worst type of cloning. Alright, I don't know if it's too loud, actually. Maybe turning up was a bad idea, I don't know. That sounds okay. That intro was so intro-y. Oh, can I enter four? That's nice of them. Oh. 
Okay, so I mean, oh, okay, so let's see. So I chose the one with less lock-on, but I'm thinking that more lock-on is probably what I want. So I'm gonna pick the one with more lock-on this time. I... Alright, I guess we're out of time. That's fine. Oh yeah, we get map information! Look at that! Look at all that stuff we get! Do we get, like, information on the stages? Oh, map number three, construct one, two, three, four, so... I don't quite understand what it's saying, but alright. Oh, this guy has a laser! Interesting. How do I lock on? Oh, shoot. That's how. Oh! Okay, the controls are different in this one. There's a separate button to release your lock on. Okay. I, I can do that. Wait. The fuck is going on? This game is weird. So it looks like I have sort of a laser beam that like arcs. Interesting. Yeah, I like arcs. That's really interesting. Okay. This ship is an interesting one. So like I can like Oh yeah, so I can lock onto one target, the electric electricity goes down to it. And then it will go if while it's on screen, if I lock onto something else, it will also go after that thing. So like I can lock onto a target, shoot it, lock onto a new target, and then immediately it gets attacked too. That's a really cool attack, I like that. It's like a tracking it's a tracking electricity, basically. And then when it does actually leave the screen, it, it physically leaves the screen, so it can hit some other targets along the way. It's actually quite a- it's, it's like a defense, too. It's like it, it protects me, so to speak. Ah, shoot. That's my special attack. It's like a big old blast, I guess. Okay. This game has different vibes, doesn't it? Oh god, okay. Like, I feel like I'm in a half cyberspace world. I don't really know what's going on here, actually. Damn it. Oh, okay. Explosions? Mid-air explosions, huh? Okay. Noted. Man, those missile pods on his arms take a lot of hits. I'm not sure about this- oh god, this guy is like in my face. I don't- I think I'm gonna collide on him. Be careful. Uh, barely hit him. Itch, oh, what? Oh, he's, he wasn't targeting me that time. Weird. Honestly, my strategy is repeatedly tap both the electric button and the shooty button. If I'm tapping the shooty button, I can lock onto things between taps. And if I'm tapping the electric button, I'm constantly shooting the electricity while things are locked on. So that's my strategy. Tactical button mashing. Break C for charm. This was this one has this one feels more trippy. It feels like we're going are we going through virtual reality? I feel like we're going through virtual reality. I feel like we just had a cyber so I mean it did say like clones and out of control systems and stuff, so maybe it is cyberspace. I don't know.
It looks very unfriendly. Weirdly, those towers looked like they were in shooting level, but they weren't. I had to still lock onto them. Oh god, okay. I think that kamikaze would cause me problems, but it kind of kamikazed me some problems. Ha <laughs> ha! Funny. <laughs> What do you guys think, by the way? Watch me play. What do you guys think of my shoot 'em up aptitude? What's your shoot 'em up aptitude? How good are you at shoot 'em ups? Whoa. Whoa! That kamikaze attempt did not work for some reason. Somehow fought my way through that kamikaze. Okay, hello, lava thing. Oh, those ex okay. It's it's tricky, tricky shots. They they're little bombs, little pellets that, that uh they come out and then they turn into bolts. All right, very rude. Oh god. Okay. What's this? Oh, he switched modes. Okay, a, a huge volley of attacks, but I can shoot them down, so it's not too. Whoa! 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 That's a weird attack. Okay, I dodged it somehow. Uh oh! Ooh! I was like, oh, I'm cornered. He straight up cornered me with that sword slash. That wasn't even my fault. Nope, not this time. Holy shit. Okay. Oof. Spread shots are always my bane. Whoa! Okay, that was a weird uh, attack angle. I wasn't expecting that. Damn! Every single one of his attacks is difficult to dodge. Rude. Also, I'll read responses to my <gasps> question in a minute. Damn it! I thought I did that perfect. Uh, I stuck too far forward, I guess. Okay, this guy is just repeatedly using two attacks that I hate. It's very rude. Oh, God damn it! This is my cor this is the quarter muncher boss for me right here. Because the only two attacks he does are both annoying. Finally, he dies. She she had a lot of health. You're decent with shoot 'em ups. Shoot 'em up games for me are mad. Enjoy you playing this game, but I'm not a shooter fan. I'm glad you enjoy it despite that. You played several total spinoffs. Yeah, bullet hell games are. I like shoot 'em ups, not so much bullet hells, though it is hard to divide the line sometimes. Oh no, evil jellyfish, get out of here. Ah, oh, fuck, I was trying to dodge the jellyfish. Yeah, here. Oh, I destroyed the entire fucking platform, alright. Whatever they're doing, I don't want them to do it. I was like, what divides a bullet hell and a shoot em up for me is... Can I stop the bullet patterns by killing the thing? If so, then it's, it's a shoot em up. If not, then it's a bullet hell. Because a lot of times, the reason I like shoot em ups but not bullet hells is I don't like being attacked by tons of bolts, but not being able to do anything about it. I like to be able to do something about it. Like, if I'm playing apt optimally, then can I stop a lot of the bolts? Then, like, for instance, a lot of these enemies, if I kill them correctly, then I won't be dealing with as many bolts. That's my point. Whoa. Oh, water tube. Why was there a water tube? You know, I'm not going to question it. Oh, how? Oh. I didn't mean to go right there. What, why did he turn into a, a, a platform? It's like the most pathetic mech transformation. I, look, I could turn into, like, a platform you could stand on. Wow. One thing 
I have to get used to with these two games, I've noticed, is um, when you move left and right, you move faster towards the middle of the screen than you do towards the edge. So if I'm going towards the edge of the screen, I move slower to get there. And that can affect my ability to, oh my god, what the fuck? Uh, Alright, I'll be hanging out here. Thanks, uh, much. What? Oh my, oh, okay. Alright, alright, alright. No, we can deal with this. Alright. There we go. Took out his, uh, whatevers. Good dodge into my part. Did good. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but I'm just gonna stop them before they can do it. Oh, that is a cool attack! I just realized. If you pay attention to the lasers, you'll know exactly where they go, and you can dodge them all. But only if you pay attention. I do like that. That's a cool way of handling uh, itself. Whoops, I don't know why I cornered myself. Aggression is the answer, really. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't have much room to, room to move there, unfortunately. Did he regenerate those? I don't appreciate that. Wait, what killed- oh, he shot little balls of light I wasn't paying attention to. Okay, gotcha. Sir. There. What a weird little robot. So it was a- it was an aqua tube robot. Very specifically. <laughs> Report on networks. Yeah, this is like cyberspace. It's like, what's the network condition? It's a D. Okay, the network condition is a D. Gotcha. Con human, emergency control. What? Also, 72.1551 encroachment, whatever that means. Whoa, what it just killed? Oh, okay. Oh, the little, the little cubes. They're not background objects. They actually can hurt me. All right, gotcha. Damn, they're hard to see. Ooh, ooh, that's a, that's a dangerous angle to. Okay. Woo. That. I don't like it. Get away. It's a black hole. It's some. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. It's a black hole, and then he shoots homing bullets into the black hole. To then, then also get pulled by the black hole. That is such a mean attack. Holy shit. You need to stay the fuck away from that. Whoa, 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 you can't just change your attack pattern like that, dude. Okay. Oh, God. Ooh. Spicy boss is spicy. Oh, not this again. Oh, no, what am I- Okay, how am I supposed to dodge with that little room? Boss is uh, a little bit, again, game showing its teeth, as I said before. Damn. That's one arm down. Ooh. Oh, what? That's so rude! I was just focusing on dodging and staying in the circle it made, and then it, then it, the circle closed on me because I didn't destroy the circle parts. That's so mean. I was so proud of myself for dodging that so well, and then I just got fucking destroyed anyways. 
so, so mean. It is Box. Bye. <laughs> Your ship is sh Yeah, in both of these games, I would say I have a, quite a chalky ship. Now, it's possible the ship has a smaller hitbox than it does a model. Some shooting ups are that way, where like the very center of your ship is actually your hitbox. I do feel like this ship is, in fact, as chunky as it looks, though. Why is there a music box play of errors on the screen? What the hell is going on? The fuck is this game is a trip? What the hell is going on in this game? The other game made a little more sense. The massacre of the human race begins as a result of the breakdown of the con human system. What? The remaining humans decided to begin plan for the colonization of other planets. Wait, did I win? That doesn't seem like a victory. What? Yet, even as humans le are unable to leave the planet of their own choice, what? There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of story there. I just want to say there's a lot of story there. Having decided the very existence of the con human system poses a threat to all forms of life, back I decided to utterly destroy its mother planet. Oh, okay, they blew up Earth. What the fuck happened? Did I get a bad end? Maybe. I'm gonna have to look. I don't even know what was going on. This was a very weirdly abstract game. I'm gonna have to look this one up. That seemed a little short, didn't it? The song is A Forest Without Fairy Tales Ending Type A. Ending Type A. Okay, I see. So I got Ending A. Are we supposed to be destroyed? I mean... That's, that's food for the philosophers, I suppose. Area 1, Area 2, Area 3 told that. So, because of bad rank, I assume? If I enter the same personal code, your record will be a affect your next game. Your record will form your next game performance? If I enter the same co personal code, you're welcome to Wait. You're saying that if I go back and enter the same code, that something different will happen? Okay, hold on. So there was a reason for this code. I mean, sure, let's do it, I guess. So I entered the same code. That is correct, apparently. Uh oh. Oh, wait, okay. Previous, try the previous map again. And new, try the new arranged map. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know what's going on. Let's go back to this one. The other ship. Let's try the 8 lock on one. Yeah, so I entered the same code and now I get a different game? Shrug? Let's see what it does. Okay, now we, we've switched- I switched ships too, just to change things up. So why not? This is a little more like the last playthrough of the first game. Okay, has anything changed? I can't tell, was this- the levels are kind of abstract in this one, so I'm not entirely sure, but I think this might be a new level. Shoot a lot of lasers. Okay, where are we going? Desert. Wasn't that level 2 last time? I mean, I'm not entirely sure, but let's just see what happens. Like, I think this was level 2 last time, but now it's level 1, so... Kinda like, huh. Oh, the tracks are different. Yeah, they are different. You're right. I like this ship a little bit better. It's a little more efficient at destroying things. Wait a minute, that's different. 
Did we go to Lava World last time, right after the desert? I don't remember now. Maybe. Nice to have new music, though. I'm down. We fought this guy before, obviously. That was a good dodge on my part. I knew it was going to happen, so I was just like ready for it that time. Ah, oh, bugger, I moved too much to the left. Man, I was doing really good against that boss, though. That was my first death on it. Not, not, too, not too shabby, if, if I do say so myself. This is good music. I like it. Okay, last time I fought that boss, it killed me like 10 times. That time it only killed me once. I'd say that's an improvement. Connecting to area ITG. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> oh, wait, this is... Wait, have we been here? I, I honestly am trying to remember. I don't think we have. Have we? This looks new. Wait, what killed me? I didn't even see what killed me. What was that? <laughs> oh well. Oh wait, maybe this was... Is this the level that's overhead? Fair enough. Actually, wait. I don't know if it is. No, yeah, this level. I've been here. Okay, so far nothing too unusual. I do swear the level layout's different. Like, the level order is different, I think. Maybe. Oh wow, I took him down fast! Okay. I think I was a little bit of a mini-boss, but... Alright.
Damn it! I was really concentrating because I was like, can I beat this whole boss without being hit? No. Did I get close? Yes. Yes, I did. Got very close to a no hit run on that boss. Holy shit. I mean, you see what I mean? You play a shoot him up once, you're gonna get beat up. You play a shoot him up a second time, you're gonna be way better because you know what's going on. Construct damage causes this part what? <laughs> Skalega? No. Oh my god, these guys own. I'm gonna try something new. New hand position. I'm gonna see how it does. Oh. Feel pretty satisfied, like I have to say though. My technique of how I'm shooting, it's doing a number on my hand, I gotta say. That's the one bad thing about it. Dodge was amazing. How did I even dodge that attack? I don't even know. <laughs> Somehow he just like took his like his major main bullet. Maybe this is maybe this is a destructible bullet actually. Ah. That's okay. Look at this little jump. <laughs> Very silly. Oh damn! Guess lasers destroy those faster than the the projectiles I have now. Okay, noted. Oh fuck! Right, the web attack. <laughs> Forgot that's how he spawns back. I was like too aggressive. I was like ready to shoot him as he spawned in. Oh, come on, I'm shooting those! <laughs> Rude. Okay, I feel like a bit of bullshit is occurring. It's alright, though. Alright, well, that's fine. So, keep in mind, I'm just replaying this level, these levels, because the game said there's a... If I enter my code, something happens, so I'm doing that. Damn, the laser actually got me that time. Oh shit, did I stand the right place? Yeah, barely. Okay. Ah, the white beams! <laughs> ah! <laughs> How did I dodge all that? Okay. By the way, it just keeps regenerating its limbs, so you kind of want to focus the head. But if you do destroy the limbs, it has less attacks. Have you seen that one game, hardest game called Battle Kid? I don't know. Should I know about it? Encroachment 56. That's like lower than before. Is that good or bad? I have. I bet the encroachment rating has something to do with how you play the game. Okay, here we go. We're going to do the. Are we doing the same fight or is it different this time? It's the same fight. Is this gonna just end the game like last time? I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, fuck, the laser. I was, I was playing too close to the edge. No, not the black hole! No, 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 not this again! I have no idea how to dodge that successfully. Oops, Roman. Pull stop, pull stop, pull stop! Oh, I get it. I have to like circle the outside of it since I will get stuck in it. Yeah, it's weird. The previous game felt very satisfying. We got through the whole we got through the whole game, we got to the boss. It was a satisfying fight. But I must say, this game it's not as satisfying. Oh god, I ran into the wing because I'm a fucking idiot. Alright. I again got too aggressive. Okay, how are am I supposed to dodge that shit exactly? God damn. Ah, oh, fuck, right. Fuck your laser beams! Good. That's one of them. Ah. So once again, it, it, this game played the same way. Does anything new happen? I mean, I entered my secret code, so... No, I, I just... We're getting the same ending, I think. I am... I'm gonna look this one up. I'm... This game perplexes me. The other one was pretty straightforward, like, how you played it. This one... This one implies that it has more, so I'm gonna look something up involving it. Let's see, is this game called Raystorm? Was this the Raystorm, or... This is Ray Crisis, actually. Yeah, that was Ray Crisis. Let me look up Ray Crisis and figure out how the hell it works. Um... Because this game is kind of weird and abstract. Um, okay. Uh, okay, you want to know the stages? Here's the stage order, right? First there's stage 1, then stage A, then stage B, then stage C, then stage D, then stage E, then stage 7. That's literally what it says on a wiki. <laughs> like, it's just, you know, it's casually going back and forth between numbers and letters. <laughs> One of the bosses is called Sim Slut. S E M dash S E U S L U T. Sim Slut. I'm not going to look up all the bosses. Okay, yeah, Pro Tour. Thought that. Simfei. Uh. Oh, by the way, these bosses are antibodies, apparently. These are. We're fighting antibodies. Congratulations, your record has been registered in the top break. Oh, that's nice. Okay, and then that's the lake one. And then that's the. Now, this human is the final boss. Oh, but there is another boss! Okay. We missed a boss. The following criteria must be met in order to meet face infinity. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. To actually face the final boss of this game, beat the entire game with less than five continues, that's when I insert a quarter. That's when it says continue on screen. Less than five continues, and your encroachment needs to be below 25%. But I don't know what increases encroachment. <laughs> yeah, I was just... I just coughed for a bit. I have no idea how you affect encroachment, but yeah. Let's see. Okay. Oh, the, this game has dynamic difficulty. 
This game has dynamic difficulty. Okay, the stages are set up so that three out of the five stages are randomly chosen at start. Although in the next playthrough, the player can manually select the previously cleared map sequence. The gameplay remains the same with two planes of attack. Blah, 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 blah. The game's dynamic difficulty is further enhanced with encroachment system, which will keep increasing every time there's an enemy object present on screen. Should the encroachment level reach 100%, the game will be... The game will send the player directly to the final boss, which will result in the bad ending after defeating it. Which we've also seen by just getting there. The player can lower encroachment by quickly destroying enemies and racking up multiple lock-on change. Lower encroachment rate results in more enemy formations and spawn will spawn and more aggressive they'll become. So basically, the longer enemies exist, the higher encroachment gets. But you can reduce it by obviously killing enemies quickly and by doing better chains. And the lower your encroachment is, the harder the game is. So the better you do at keeping the encroachment down, the tougher the enemies will be. So to face the true final boss and get the good ending, encroachment level has to be at 20% or lower, and you have to spend less than five credits. That's a pretty tall order, but it is a good challenge, I would say. <clears throat> Let's see. I think we're good. I think we're probably going to continue now. Um, I don't assume setting free play mode will let us see the final boss. But then again, if it doesn't force you to... Hold on. If I disable confuse and select free play, that might... I'm just thinking. Or there's play left. Wait, well, hold on a second. More lives, no continues, free play mode. Just don't mind me. Just play it around for a second. Free play mode should just remove the need to continue, I think. Let's find out if I'm right. I'm going to intentionally die now, excuse me. It's not forcing me to put in credits notice. So I'm just gonna get myself killed real fast. I want to see. It might be. It might be possible with, with all the emulation settings to. Uh, I am just clipping right into this guy. Okay. Dead. 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 By increasing the number of lives I have, it would be drastically easier to have the limited number of continues needed. So yeah, the encroachment goes up anytime there's an enemy on screen, so that's how that works. Really weird I can just phase through those guys. Yeah, I see, see? Goes up while they're there. I see. And it goes up pretty fast, I'd like to note. Oh, it goes up exponentially faster the more enemies there are. Okay, so it's even in free play mode, it does make you continue. Okay, so with extra lives, I could prob with extra lives and good gameplay, I could probably, I could probably keep the continues below five. If I have, if I have, because I think I started with three lives. If I have seven lives per continue, so let me put that in comparison. If you have the standard three units, then that means less than five continues. That means you can continue four times, right? So that means you have a total of. Uh, technically 19 lives. After you lose your 19th live, you lose the challenge. If you have 7, though... You have 35. That's quite a few more. Um, so, yeah. Um, so you need to play in the main mode to obtain an ending? Yeah, well, I've just looked up the information of how to do it. I don't believe the game will care if I'm on free play or not. I'm not going to do this now. I'm just like tell you guys a strategy if I wanted to try this. So max out the lives that you can add. Turn on continues. Make sure to continue less than five times. So basically have decent gameplay to kill through all the... There's, the game's not really that long, so it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, basically beat the entire game with that. But here's the thing. It isn't just about... It isn't just about uh, keeping your continues down. Because you also got to lower the encroachment, basically kill enemies quickly, and also do chains, because chains will reduce encroachment as well. 
So it seems like if you don't chain, you don't. So like I, I, the, I was doing small chains. Apparently, if you do big chains, that affects the encroachment more. So there's a technical aspect to this as well. Um, quite interesting, though. Quite interesting. Quite an interesting system. Um, now, of course, there is one powerful feature we have here, which I wasn't taking advantage of. Quick saves. So, what I could probably do if I wanted to see the final boss is I start the game, make a quick save, go through the stage, try my best to get chains and stuff, and if I feel comfortable for that... See, we want an encroachment level of below 20%, apparently. Um, so, I'd be the first stage. If the encroachment level looks pretty good, then I make a quick save. If I don't think it's good, I load and I try the stage again until I feel like I've hit a good encroachment level. And I just go stage by stage, try to affect, try to get a good encroachment level until I'm like, yeah, that's good. And then I see the foul boss. However, I'm not going to do that now because we have other games to play. Though that is a fair, that is fair though. Like I've seen some shoot numbers where to see the final boss, you have to be absolutely ridiculous. This isn't the most ridiculous challenge. This is fair. It's difficult, but it's fair. But I will share with you guys what the final boss looks like. Apparently, um, here, hold on. So, the final boss we fought is called Dishuman. It's the final antibody protecting Conhuman's core. So we basically fought the final bodyguard, but then got a bad ending because we didn't actually fight the final boss itself. So the final boss itself is uh, this. It is... Uh, Infinity is the core of Conhuman's mind of the TLB from Ray Crisis. I don't know what the TLB is. A small floating red sphere. So that's the final boss we missed, basically. And also, if you're wondering what the fuck this story is, because I kind of was wondering myself. Um, so here's here's what the game says about its story. <clears throat> Work on the Conhuman Neural Network System, a system created using technologies which obliterate the boundaries between man and machine and connecting all computers of the world has now been completed. The combination of all the technologies within the waking of the system has brought a revolution of worldwide resources leading to a century of the machines, or the MC Age. Mankind, which has by now mastered the technologies needed to colonize the planets, build its growing population, has pinned its hopes on the colonizations of planets. And sent forth that sounds offensive, very wordy. And sent forth legions of spaceships to begin a voyage exp of exploration. Almost 100 years have passed, and then it goes through a, like a timeline. Oh my god, this is so much story. Um, do, 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 do. blah blah blah. Couldn't find any suitable colonization planets. Uh, plans were made for the colonization of the satellite Sec Cecilia. This forced Con Human to begin to search for a way to ensure that mankind could continue to live on forever. And the paradox is born from the et eternally ensured existence of mankind, and the lack of a way in which that existence could be ensured in the end act as a trigger which made Con Human system malfunction. So basically, the, the, the computer system had a logic puzzle it couldn't solve and malfunctioned. And then we have to stop it, basically. And I guess we fell, thus we're really cool. <laughs> what a, what a, this game has a, for being a random, for being an arcade shoot 'em up, this game has a really complicated story. Go check out the Ray Crisis wiki if you want to read it for yourself. It's super long. I abridged it heavily. <laughs> but yeah, um, my goodness, what a, what a complex story for an arcade shoot 'em up. Um, kind of impressed by the ambition, though. But yeah, so yeah, that was Ray Storm, Ray Crisis HD Collection. I this is kind of good, honestly. I, I would suggest picking this up if you like shoot 'em ups. This is a nice, nice little collection of, I believe, Japanese only games. At least if it did have an international release, must have been small because I've never heard of these games. Um, this is nice. This is a nice. I mean, effectively, it's just. They emulated the arcade games and added some upscaling and a whole touch of, bunch of little features. But they did add plenty of features. Save states, little ways you can tweak the game. I think it's quite nice. Uh, it's a good collection. If you not play these games or if you like them a lot because you do ha remember playing them, I think it's a worthy collection to pick up. Nice little set of two games, too. Like, it, 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 
They probably could have just sold one of these. So it's nice they sold both of them together in a package. That's That makes it more of a bang for your buck, too. These are nice shoot em ups. I like them. Go check out the Race Room Ray Crisis X Ray Crisis HD Collection, or Cross Ray Crisis, I guess is that way out. It says HD Collection if you want to. Uh, I would I would say it's worth a few bucks. 